Have you ever gotten an Iron Man file that just doesn't have any of the panels cut out that you need to be cut out? Let's go over that. So I want to take this time to give my friend Conrad a huge shout out for teaching me how to do this in the first place. I had no idea how to do this the correct way until he showed me. So massive props to him. Please go follow him on Instagram. He's severely underhyped. His stuff is incredible. He's a great designer. So uh, yeah, check him out. All right, so for this demonstration today, I'm just gonna use my ab panels for my Mark VI. Um, you can see I already split the top ab and the second ab from the main abs. Uh, so for the demonstration today, I'm just gonna split the third ab. What you're gonna wanna do is go down to preferences. It should be under the edit tab. You're gonna go into preferences and you're gonna go to add-ons. You're gonna look for three add-ons. And for me, they're already enabled, so I'm going to my enabled section, but you might have to search for them. You're gonna wanna select add mesh extra objects, mesh loop tools, and object bool tool. Now if you close out of that, uh, we're gonna get started cutting out this ab piece. I'm just gonna turn off the second ab and the top ab just so they're out of the way. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to add, mesh, and single vert. And so basically what we're gonna do with this vertice is we're gonna create a shape to cut out this top ab. Now if you place that on the surface of whatever you wanna cut, you wanna enable the snapping tool. And that should be right at the top here and you'll wanna set it to face. So now that we have our vertice, we're gonna move it to the face and you can see that it sticks to the face of our object. So now I'm just gonna go and line this up along the edge I wanna cut. And then we're gonna head back up to edit mode. Make sure this vertice is selected and we're gonna hit E and extend this vertice out, or actually extrude this vertice out. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep doing this and trace around the edge you wanna cut or the shape you wanna cut. And then once you get to the end, you can select the two endpoints and hit F and it'll join the whole thing together. Then you'll wanna select all these points by hitting A and then hit F to create a face. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit E and we're gonna extend this face outward so it passes the object that we wanna cut out. Then we're gonna hit Control I and we're gonna do the same thing but on the opposite side. So now you have this huge obnoxious looking mesh where your plate that you want to cut out would be. But it's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna fix it. It's gonna look good. Now you might want to adjust this just so the line is cleaner. For this example, I didn't spend too much time cleaning it up just because it's a quick demo. But if you want this to be clean, you'd want to spend some more time around the edges. Just gotta fix this one point that got a little out of line. So now we're going to go back to object mode. So now we have these two objects. You're going to want to select both of them and then copy and paste them. So we're duplicating this that way we can properly cut this panel out. And it's always, it's always, always, always a good idea to save as you go through this just in case Blender decides to crash on you, as well as duplicate the file you're cutting just in case something horribly goes wrong. All right, so now you have your copy. You can go ahead and hide that for now. So now we're gonna select the new mesh we just created and our ab plate. We're gonna hit shift control B and we're gonna select difference. It should erase the panel you're trying to cut out, but don't panic. The duplicate we just created will fix that. So now you're gonna go and turn it on. And you're gonna hit shift control B again, but instead of hitting difference, you're gonna hit intersect. And there you go, you have your panel cut out. And this, this works for pretty much anything you wanna cut out. It doesn't have to be a panel. You can cut out squares with this. You can cut out random shapes. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. 
Um, and once again, another big thank you to my friend Conrad for teaching me how to do this because I also could not find any tutorials specifically for Iron Man suits on this. Let me know if this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.